Hey everyone, Christy here, and I am doing a quick video. I'm trying this new format out because I've noticed that if I wait till the end of the day after work to do a video, I get really tired and exhausted, and then I put it off. So what I'm going to do instead is try doing little bite-sized things on my lunch hour. So, ah, lunch a la dusk, make a quick video. Right, so this video is directed towards Armored Skeptic, Greg, and it's a follow-up to an exchange that started, I think, about two weeks ago, and now it basically has to do with the fact that I was using my free speech rights to express my concern about Carl Benjamin being promoted, uh, being put on a stage at Mythicist Milwaukee, given his history with, oh, let's say, um, laughing at the murder of a woman from the Skeptic Feminist, um for almost two hours in a hangout, or, or admitting to organizing an online harassment campaign of a British MP, or flirting with neo-Nazis. Um, and so all of these things concerned me and I was raising attention and awareness. Greg made this about him and June and he brought himself into this by accusing me of trying to deplatform him. And when I called him on it, he made a very interesting response, but only on Twitter that I've seen. He might have put it up somewhere else, but I only saw it on Twitter. She made a video demanding that I redact her from my video and the thumbnail of the video about people trying to deplatform us from Mythicist Milwaukee because she personally did not name June or I. She only mentioned Sargon, which is true. Which is true. That I was not targeting him in any way. Which is true. Or complaining about him in any way. Which is true. Or June. Which is true. Um, but in order for him to tell the truth about me, I would have to denounce the people who are criticizing him. So I'll tell you what, I will redact you from the video, or at least from the thumbnail. I think it's too late to do it from the video. But I'll redact you from the thumbnail and uh, add something in the description saying that you were not part of it. At least I'll make it clear what part you did have. As long as you make a public statement, uh, against Dan Errol, against Dan Steve Shives, PZ Myers, and everybody else that was involved who slandered us, who lied about us, who made claims that were completely to the contrary of the truth, and that did try to deplatform us, if you condemn their actions instead of just joining in on their bandwagon, making it clear exactly what your role was, then I'll redact you from my thumbnail. Those are my terms. And uh, that's BS. So here is what has happened since. Um, Greg has, you have partially admitted your error and you have partially corrected, but it's entirely insufficient. So um, good, good job and points for changing the thumbnail. However, in your Twitter video to me, you told me that you would fix things in the description box to clarify that you were in error about your accusations about me, at the very least, which is, again, I think insufficient. Um, and so I'm making this video to acknowledge while you have changed the thumbnail, and I thank you for that, to call on you again to correct the record, to stop promoting misinformation on your channel. Over 60,000 people had viewed that video when the thumbnail was still my image. And I'm still getting your fans coming into my comment section accusing me of trying to deplatform you. The reason that is, is because you fail to include a correction in the description box as you promised, which actually before your advertisement for yourself or your links, that should be up there. Um, actually, what would be better is if you took the video down and you took out my name. You just edited it out. And I know you're capable of doing that because you got busted for including faked video of uh, a Nazi who, a guy who claimed that he was beat up because he was a Nazi, but really he did it all himself. So you are capable of editing videos and correcting things when you make mistakes. Um, you're just not willing to do it for me. And I'm wondering why that is. So my question to you, Greg, Armored Skeptic, are you more committed to the truth and the facts and making sure your audience doesn't get bad information and perpetuate lies, or are you really not interested in the truth when it comes to correcting the record about a feminist? I think that's actually the case. I think that you're less committed to telling the truth to your audience when it's about correcting an error you made in terms of an accusation against a feminist. I would love for you to prove me wrong, Greg. 
please go ahead and put up a video correcting your other video. If you don't want to take it down and edit, edit it, that's fine. Put up a second video, but announce that you made a false accusation and that you want to correct the record and to tell your fans to not come into my comment section and abuse me because you gave them bad information. I think if you're going to want the title skeptic in your name to mean anything, you're going to have to do that. All right, guys. Well, it's my lunch hour. I need to actually go eat my lunch. Uh, so, from me in Cologne, oh, I'll show you a quick view out of my office if you want, and Greg can turn off the video now as if he's going to be watching. But yeah, um, I'm going to be going having my lunch, but since I have an opportunity, it's a lovely kind of gray, cloudy day, and you can see the Cologne Cathedral from my office. So I'll go ahead and pick this up. And if we swing around here, oh, yep, there we go, there we go. Okay, it's not the best view in the world, to be honest, but it is really lovely walking to work every day under the spires of a UNESCO historical site. And uh, yeah, a little bit of life in Cologne. We still have some green, um, some graying clouds, and it's like a blanket covering the world. So it's a very cozy day as we move from summer into autumn. If this is successful, then I might just do some lunchtime chats. It would be a nice way for me to do things while I still have energy during the day. It's a way for me to relax between sessions of writing or other stuff. And it might mean that I can do um, more just quick videos and upload them uh, quicker to you guys and get more interaction. So let's see how this goes. All right, that's gonna take care of everything from me. So from me to you, I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Let's hope Greg is awesome and he actually does what's right and tells his fans the truth and corrects the record officially. Um, and with those fingers crossed, ich drücke die Daumen auch. Ich kann das auch machen, as well as do my fingers crossed. Um, I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Bye-bye.